made this wreath last night. I kept looking at it, kept looking at it, and said it needs some blue ribbon, okay? I didn't have any blue ribbon, but I still had spray paint left over from the hats on the gnomes that I made. So I went ahead. This is a paint and primer all in one, and it also bonds to plastic. So I have this really sturdy wired burlap ribbon. I took it out on the clothesline and I painted both sides and let it dry. It's not cracking off. It's not rubbing off in my fingers. Again, it's got the paint and primer right in it. And I think it made the wreath pop. Without it, I think it was just dull because it wasn't matching the hats. There was nothing blue in it but the hats and the sign. So I felt it just needed that extra pop. So what I did was I took the ribbon off, the bow off, and I added the blue to the background as an accent and then just let the tails hang out the side. So I think, hey Susan, Susan I sent you a message about your order. So make sure you check that out. And then I added a little bit up here. So I think overall, now I have the color I was looking for. Now I like it. Before it was just too plain without that blue pop. So I just wanted to share that with you. Again, it was actually, I think this ribbon I got from a home party plan. I know I got a couple of rolls of it. This one, the, it's kind of like home interior. One of my puppy parents sells it. Oh, Signature. Signature Home Styles sold it. And it's wired. And it took the paint really well. So I just wanted to share that with you. I had every other color blue under the sun except the color to match the straw hats. And see, here's one of the straw hats after I painted it for the noon. So, I just thought I'd share that. That's just another tip that maybe not everybody has tried. There, and because this ribbon may have a little bit of plastic in it, this paint and primer actually bonds to it. So, I'm, I'm real happy with the way it looks now. Now it looks like it all goes. Before, it was lacking the blue. So, I'm really happy with that. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Okay, and the next thing I wanted to go over, I did promise a few last night that I would do a square work wreath form and show you just how many um, ties I put on this. So we're gonna do that. But first off, I'm so excited. My ribbon came. Hey Dawn, the ribbon that I had ordered for my new fall and winter signs has arrived. So, what I'm going to show you, and these ribbons, I don't have all the signs made, but we're actually matching the ribbon to the border, okay? So, I picked up two, and this one I used last night in the sign, so I picked up two of the, um, of the fall ribbon okay so we've got the tan and cream check and then the white and black check so the white and black check can go with that the cream can go with this also because of the burlap and it also goes with this one too and this says autumn leaves pumpkins please i struggled with this sign for a while because i bought the truck and i bought the words with it but the words just weren't lining up the way I wanted it so totally revamped it I'm hoping hey Jeannie I'm hoping in the next couple of days to have the rest of my signs listed and then there's going to be a special section in my Etsy shop because there are a lot of signs that first draft I didn't like for one reason or another so I can't see just trashing them 
they're still in good condition so they would be fine for someone else um, they just didn't make the cut as far as I was concerned so there's going to be some signs listed on there they're going to be very reasonable so I just thought I'd share that with you so a couple of the signs I can show you that we have ribbon for now okay this one here warm wishes okay there is actually a snowman ribbon that matches this one so that's going to be available in my Etsy shop this one here I have ribbon where is it oh no well I'll find it I actually have a snowman ribbon that matches this okay then we have this ribbon look at it absolutely gorgeous so I have a sign that I'm going to be making that actually has this as the border okay but for that you can use any one of these signs because you got the black and white check all right you know me and gnomes I got to come up with a gnome to match the ribbon on this there's actually little gnomes in there on there I know right then this one here and there's another sign that's coming out that will also match this it's got moose it's got Christmas trees and it's got the bear that's actually going to match this one and a few others and so you can take this black and white check for anything I actually have cardinal ribbon coming that matches this sign too because to me that's the most important part of any um, any wreath you've got to have the ribbon to match the sign to match everything else then I I couldn't resist because there's so many ribbons out there but it's hard finding the little paw prints so I thought this would be cute because this is something you could use all year long this is also something you could use for Christmas if you had a dog wreath or a cat wreath for Christmas um, it could even be other little animals okay so that's another one of the ones this one is by far my absolute favorite we have a sign coming out that will actually have that on the border see it has the little shimmery white stripe can you see it hey Sue welcome look at that it's just a little shimmer and I like just a little shimmer sometimes so that that to me I love that one okay there's also one coming out with this now they have the little thank you Sue for spreading the love there's glitter okay it's just got the red glitter but I love that and then we have this one I couldn't resist let me open it for you it says all roads lead home for Christmas and see the shimmer in that the glitter so there's actually one that's going to totally match that sign and then we have this one I like this one because this is so versatile you can use this for farmhouse you can use this for Christmas that one there so there's another sign coming out that's going to match that one okay I will I just sent it but I didn't figure up your uh, discount yet Susan so I knew that possibly would happen so I'm just going to put those in a poly bag and ship them off to you and this one I got to match the welcome sign 
We've got the welcome sign with the purple flowers, and we also have it with the yellow flowers. So that one's there. So basically, I wanted to show you the new ribbon, give you a peek as to what's coming, and I know I was. They had the other colors, Missy, but I hesitated because right now we're getting geared up for fall and winter. So I didn't want to add more to the list. So, but I have that one available. It's not in the Etsy shop. Tonight, I actually have to finish my taxes and get ready for the new grandchild. So I'm hoping by tomorrow, sometime in the afternoon to get these listed. Yes, beautiful. But that, that's just a perfect match. Okay. All right. And then you'll see the other ribbon to match that. And then we have this to go with the autumn leaves pumpkins, please. Yeah, in fact, I have that sign, Susan. I'll show you how I... Susan bought a couple of my signs, and this was one I did on a live. I actually put it on a circular wood disc, and I left enough room up here that if somebody wanted, I could put the, the little girl's name on there, and then I put this. So you can put it in a wreath, or you can just put it on a, on a wooden disc. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with the, uh, the square frame. Because I had this already done yesterday. Someone said they wanted to um, see how it's done. Now, again, I shared my tinsel ties. You know how I love my tinsel ties. Okay, I either get them round like this or like this. Now this is called tinsel pine or rope, tinsel pine. And there's 26 feet in here. And this one they have, they don't have a name on it. But I know Trendy Tree, um, Craft Outlet, um, Sims, for those that buy through Sims. And also that one that um, Willie shared last night. That Facebook page that has a website they have them on there too I know only certain ones carry certain colors white is a pretty neutral color um, but what I do is I take this apart first I got to find the end and don't forget now I have my uh, garden flags. I have a memorial garden flag coming out where you can put, you can send me a picture of the person that's passed away and we can go ahead and put um, their picture on it. Kringle Designs. All right, so Kringle Designs also sells these. And if you put 50-50, you'll get 50% off there. So I cut these at 12 inches, and for this one, I needed 16, I think. I think that's what I did. So basically, I just sit here and count out 16 of them at 12 inches. Yes, right? They hold up. Now, okay. You're getting your frame for a dollar from the Dollar Tree. Thank you, Willie. She went ahead and got all these frames for me because the one near me had none and I had no more um, circle ones left and I wanted to try the squares. So she went in to her local one and bought up a bunch for me and sent them to me. I couldn't even get it on the website. Two, four, six... Make 
sure my glue gun's on. Yep. So you figure by the time you buy a, a work frame with the ties already on it, you're still ahead of the game buying it this way. And I know some people have not used the square one. Last night, believe it or not, last night, that was the first time I've used the square one. And I did the Jackie weave on the bottom and then the ruffle on the top. See, when I'm done cutting these, I have enough left over for any of my um, attachments for my bow. Okay, so there's a lot here. Hey, Carol. I'm actually going to glue the little ball back on here and put this up and double check my count on there. I didn't want to lift it up until I had it in place. actually put these over here because I thought they needed to be there but you can very easily paint ribbon okay let's get that up here let me just double check I was pretty sure one two okay so I went ahead all right I'm just double checking. Well, that isn't right, is it? Should have went to the corner. I actually have some chain that I use. There we go. Doesn't that look much better? Okay, so we're starting out with this frame. This frame is a 14 inch, okay? So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one in the corner. So I always put a little dab of glue, let it set up a second, it actually runs down to the bottom, and then I just twist. Can you all see that? Do I need to move it in some? Let me move it in some so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. And then I go to the crossbar, crossbar is here. I'm going to put another one. So I actually have four on the outer ones. And you're just twisting. And then I pull it back up here. It's so much cheaper than buying the work frame already made. Usually these run between two and three dollars. So I would say for your work frame, you can usually spend between five and six dollars on those. It's so much easier and less expensive to do it this way. And I like the tinsel ties because you know on our work frames, some of the tinsel ties are much wider and they're harder to disguise. So this really helps with them being thin. So just remember corners and crossbars and then twist and let it dry. And this will hold up. But I really think last night's wreath looks so much better now with the blue ribbon. Jeannie must have heard her name. Jeannie, we were talking about the signature ribbon that I bought from Yvonne's party. 
It was not the color I wanted, so I spray painted it. Jeannie Sell's signature. That is if she's still on here. Tequila. How you been, girl? Hi, Joy. What have you been up to? That little cutie is walking. How exciting. Tequila's little granddaughter started walking. We got grandbaby number two possibly coming tonight or tomorrow. I mean, I have more grandchildren. I just mean grandson number two this year. All right. One more here. I'm showing them how to take a square wreath frame and add tinted ties to it. This is square wreath frame from Dollar Tree that Willie picked up for me since we don't have any here in our Dollar Tree. We've been watching our grandson three days a week, and my daughter-in-law, Emily, is being induced tonight if they have a bed. So, we may have a grandchild by tomorrow morning. I don't think she's going to have it tonight, but you never know. This being her first one, it could drag on. They're excited. We're excited. Wait till you see all the stuff that is going to be embroidered with his birth information on it. Okay, now I'm going to stick, let's see, two. Two, three. I'm going to need more. I actually I actually only did three on this row. Why did I add a fourth one? Because the crossbar ones go on the other, in the middle. So I got to fix that. Alright, backtrack. I'm working on little sleep, guys. My mind has been on overdrive. And it's not stopping. <laughs> you ever hate that when you can't turn your brain off? All right, so we want three around the first row. Not four, three. To correct myself. And burn myself. Yo! Because believe it or not, when you get that on there, it really fills up quick. There we go. It's easy to come off and it's easy to stay too, so. Looking good, girl, and we miss you. You haven't been doing your lives, have you? There. Get over there. I also have a boy and girl announcement flag coming, too, that I'm going to be um, doing. The goal this week is just to get those taxes done, get this baby born. There. All right. So you actually have one on each corner and one in the middle. So that we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Then 
then we go to the middle here at each crossbar. That's how I did it. Well, we're just glad you're doing better, Tequila. That's how I came up with 16. And I got one more trick to show you after this. I cut the tinsel ties at 12 inches. The tinsel tie or tinsel rope comes folded you get 26 feet so one um, package of tinsel ties will do a whole wreath and some attachments and you can even use it for your sign I have a lot of trouble when I'm using like the wire it, it, it I have no I have no more fingerprints left on my fingers. So what happens is my fingers just slide right over it and I can't grasp it. So I have always used tinsel ties because for me, from a dexterity standpoint, they're easier to maneuver than a, than a pipe cleaner. My pipe cleaners, they rust. They may not in, uh, you know, different states, but we get a lot of moisture, snow, and everything here So, in Pennsylvania. So I like these much better. I've, I've had pipe cleaners that I'm working with on a live, and I'm sitting here twisting, twisting, and all of a sudden the darn pipe cleaner comes apart. Or they're not long enough, and you got to add another one. So for me, this is, this is how I roll. Welcome, Amanda. What's the weather like in Wyoming? And believe it or not, you know, you get your frame for a dollar at, at the Dollar Tree, and then you pay between two and three dollars for your tinsel ties, and it's still less than if you went and bought a work wreath frame from wherever. This needs a little more glue. But I, when I put my wreath together last night, I had already started it because we had Tag Team Tuesday. So if you didn't see the replay, go back and watch the replay. Um, Willie went on first and then I went on second. And uh, so I had already started putting it together. So I know people on the live, ooh, chilly, had asked about how I put it together. So I figured, well, today would be a good time to show, first of all, the improvements we made to the wreath, and I can show it again, because I wasn't happy with it, and I, and I changed it up. So you actually end up with 16. You have eight in here, and then eight outside. So you cut 16 at 12 inches, or you can use pipe cleaners if they work for you. That's, that's your thing. Okay, so there we go. There's our work wreath frame. And this is a square. And what I did last night on our Tag Team Tuesday. Come on. Let me uh, pull it up now. I went ahead and I did the Jackie weave on the bottom row, and then I just did a ruffle on the top row. And what I was showing in the beginning was that I didn't have the color ribbon to match the gnome hats. So paint and primer all in one. Took it out on the clothesline, I sprayed it, it's a nice heavy burlap ribbon, wired ribbon, so I just sprayed both sides of it on the clothesline.
That's awesome. I'm so glad you could watch, Amanda. So this was last night's. I added the bow underneath the bow and then a little one up here just for another punch of color. That, that color is in the hat on the sign. It says, hey there. And then I made these um, gnomes. So, so there you go. Thank you. So I'm going to put that over here because... And then we have now the um, garden flags to match the signs. Any, any sign I have in my Etsy store, which I have a lot now, um, like we've got when cardinals appear, angels are near. We've got the peace. We've got snowflakes or kisses from heaven, and they come in two sizes. Yes, I spray painted the ribbon. It's, I don't know if Jeannie's still on here, but Jeannie works for a company called um, Signature. Where did I put it? I just put it up here. It's kind of like home interiors. And I had this ribbon. It's a burlap ribbon. So it has burlap. It, um, this is a paint and primer all in one, and it also bonds to plastic. So I went ahead and spray painted it. I actually just attached it to the clothesline, sprayed this side, and then just turned it and sprayed the other side. Because I thought I still had a piece left here. Nope. I know I did, but can't find it now. So yeah. And then I showed all our ribbon that matches our new signs. And like I said, any sign I have, it can be made into a garden flag. I have I have a crow one coming out for fall. I have a girl and boy one when a baby's born. I also have a memorial one. If you have someone that's passed away, I can put their picture on it. Um, I wanted to do something special because we were not able to um, grieve properly for my mother-in-law who we lost due to COVID. So, so that is gonna be my tribute to her. Sure I can, Sue. I can show them again. We now have this one too. This is hairdresser. And it comes in two sizes. This is the 12 inch. And we have the 8 inch. I had requests now for all my military signs. They all say proud marine veteran or proud army veteran. We have them for mom and wife. Then my police sign, I just had a request for that. Someone's graduating from the police academy and they wanted it in a license plate form. I'm probably going to do this one next week. This is my new pineapple sign. And all my new ribbon is going to be matching my signs. Like this one here matches the new ribbon. And then I have ribbon that's coming in to match this, or I have it already. Snowflakes are kisses from heaven. Again, available in two sizes. And then this peace sign. And I have several ribbons that go with that. This is the new ribbon. This is actually going to be the border on one of my new signs. And it also matches... This one, got the trees and the moose and the bear. And I have that cabin sign, um, life is better at the cabin, and that also matches this. And then this one, when cardinals appear, angels are near. And I also have a cardinal ribbon that's coming in that matches that exactly. And then we have 
this, these two fall ribbons. This is all going to be listed on my Etsy shop because we now have autumn leaves, pumpkins, please. And we have it with the burlap background or some prefer the blue background. So we've got that. Um, this is going to be a background to one of my new signs. This is going to be a border, I mean, not background. This is going to be my next gnome that I will be attempting. This one here, it's got the, the red glitter around the snowflakes. This one is nice because it kind of goes with farmhouse and country Christmas. And then I couldn't resist. I had to have, you can use this Christmas or all year round. So we've got little paw prints. And then this one, I have a sign that will be saying all roads, all roads lead home for Christmas. I'm trying to read it backwards and it wasn't happening. <laughs> so we got that. And then this matches my welcome sign with the yellow flowers. This is Missy's absolute favorite. She inspired the welcome sign. And then this is the ribbon, the burlap ribbon that I went ahead and spray painted blue. Okay. And then we have eat, sleep, save lives, repeat. And there's a lot more, but these are just a few of the ones I made this week that I haven't put on the website yet. So hopefully tomorrow and tomorrow I get my first haircut. I have been cutting my hair now for, I've cut it four times since we've been quarantined. So hopefully she'll be able to get it, whip it back in shape. <laughs> I'm sure she's not too happy. She said everybody's coming in that way, so I hope that it won't be too bad. And then, I don't know if I brought it down. I thought I had my pool, my pool flag. I have a really cute pool sign, and I have the garden flag to match it. Wouldn't that be cute? I mean, you have the wreath on your door, and then down near the door, you have the garden flag to match. So, so there's that. And since we have a few minutes left, well, thank you. But I'll tell you, it's it's very uneven, and it's driving me insane. Okay, this is just something that I'm. I figured I'd share. All right, I got these hats at the Dollar Tree. Okay, if you have any type, thank you. I've got over a hundred signs. I think it is now listed in my Etsy sh shop. So. Um, if you have any kind of scarecrow or anything that you're doing this year, I don't think I got a message about the Blackberry sign, Vicki. Did you leave it in the comments last night? Because a bunch of the comments disappeared. So you need a, you need a Blackberry sign? Is that what you're asking for? Because I can, uh, I can get that for you. We can make you something. All right. If any of you have, I knew somebody put a message, and when I went this morning to look it up, I could not find them. So if you need, um. A scarecrow hat you could actually cut this in half and use it but what I did was okay you saw my little gnomes all right out of one hat I got four gnome hats now these were the boys and the girls girl one looked a little bit different so 
so I'll show you what I did. LSU, um, send me a picture. Okay, so what I did was I kind of made, I always make my own patterns when I'm making stuff. And I needed something that looks straw. I needed something that I could bend up a little, something that I could glue and so on. So what I did was I created a pattern. All right. And no problem. Welcome. Haven't seen you in a while, Pam. All right, so out of this hat, Dollar Tree hat, and my gnomes that are on my wreath, it's going to be limited edition because if I can't get any more of these hats, that's it. So what I did was I cut out the hat, and then for those of you that can't sew, you can always hot glue. So then I just ran a stitch line down across the, the edge here, turned it inside out, and went back to my paint and primer. Oh, has the, okay. I don't know if you saw that, Missy. Vicki's saying Craft Outlet has those signs. Blueberry, co blackberry cobbler. Sure. I'll see what I can do. Do you want it to look more farmhouse or whimsical or let me know. Okay. So out of one hat, I was able to get four. And then I just took them outside attached them to the um, clothesline and sprayed them. I'm actually trying to figure out how, because I know Missy's daughter wants a farmer, so I'm actually trying to figure out how to take one of these and make a farm hat out of it because she wants a farmer gnome. So out of one Dollar Tree hat, you can actually get four I'm reading comments. So there you go. Because those little hats, they, they cost quite a bit, and you can't always get them. And I thought, okay, I need some straw hats. I mean, these kind of look like farmers. I'm sure I could square it off a little more or something, make it a little shorter. I mean, it'd even be cute as a witch's hat. Like you could spray paint a couple of these black and put them on your wreath. I just thought, like I said, we'd do some tricks. And I even thought that spray paint, because this ribbon from Craft Outlet is kind of like plasticky, I'm sure I could use this to spray paint it too. I have Karen, but a lot of them, by the time you have shipping and so on, it was just easier for me to grab these hats and cut them up. But see, if you wanted, if you had like a, a scarecrow, you can cut this in half and you can glue half of this to your wreath. Like, see, doesn't that look like a cute hat? Because I know when I bought the snowman hats, they were like over a dollar a piece. And with this, I'm getting four for a dollar. I gotta write that down somewhere, Vicky, so I remember. So blackberry cobbler. 
and you let me know if you want farmhouse or whimsical. All right, well, that's about all I have for today. And I will try and get on that sign for you. But I thought I would share a few tips. No, no, you can't. I mean, those things get expensive. But couldn't you see that? I mean, heck, you could even just put that on the wreath and decorate it with stuff on the side and ribbons. So you could take one of these hats, cut it in half, and just make a straw hat and put it on the wreath. I'm glad you caught me too. We miss you. I miss seeing your face and talking to you. And I'm glad you're feeling better. All right. If you guys think of anything else that you're interested in seeing that you want me to go over, um, you know, feel free to let me know. I'll be more than happy to show you. You're welcome. All right, going to go get ready to probably feed my grandson again. My hubby's watching him. I'll tell you, it's, it's a lot of fun, but it can be a lot of work, too. But I really feel strongly about children being with their grandparents. I think it's important. All right, guys, thank you, and don't forget to check out my Etsy store. I'll go ahead and I'll post a, um, a link. And in the next week or so, I will have some of those sample signs, and they're probably only going to be like $5. There's nothing wrong with them. They just didn't make the cut for some reason. I just didn't feel that they were what I was trying to achieve. So, and don't forget to join my Robin's Wreath Signs and More. Um, it's a free group. You have a couple questions. Welcome. You have a couple questions to answer. There's a coupon code in there for my Etsy shop right now. Where are you watching from, Rose? Some bushes around the sign, too. Okay, so like blackberry bushes. And then you want like a blackberry cobbler. You're so welcome. They Most of them start at $9. The bigger ones go up to $12. The big personalized ones, they there's one big one about the size of the hairdresser one that's got a lot of personalization on it. That one runs $25. Um, but the rest of them are all, you know, in the 9 nine dollar range okay we're in new jersey karen yes okay so cobbler some bushes all right all right um and then like i said the ones that didn't make the cut i will list those i'm trying to figure out what um what to name that little category so only my the people that watch know. Okay. And I'm also holding a contest. Oh, neat. Kentucky. Well, that's where Missy's from. Missy's on here. Um, the contest, I'm trying to reach a 1,000 on my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, go in and subscribe. And then send me a private message with your email address. If you've already subscribed, send me a private message with your email address because your name will be put in the drawing. I'm going to be giving away five signs out of my Etsy store when I reach a 1,000 on my YouTube channel. And we're getting pretty close to 900. So, 
you'll get to pick your signs and uh, I know everybody's anxious but I have to wait until I get to a thousand so go in and subscribe hit the hit the bell to be notified when I go live or when there's a new video and um, share 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 do you know where Elizabeth town is Missy All right, guys, I'm going to head out. I'm going to wish you all a good evening. Wish me luck in finishing my taxes. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. All right, thanks for watching.